Now question number two is we are given two events A and B and probability of A and B is strictly lie between 0 and 1 then which of the following statements is or are true. Now this first one is A and B are mutually exclusive if and only if not A and not B are exhaustive. So we are given that A and B are mutually exclusive. If A and B are mutually exclusive then P A intersection B will be 0 and we have to prove this is possible if and only if not A and not B are exhaustive. That means probability of A not union B not it is equal to 1. Now if you look at this probability then it will be this probability of A intersection B not will be 1. So from here we get probability of A intersection B will be simply 0. So we can prove it both ways. We can start from P A intersection B taking it at 0 and then we can write probability of A not union B not will be probability of A intersection B not which is 1 minus probability of A intersection B and it is 1. That means if A and B are mutually exclusive then A not and B not are exhaustive and if we start from this P A not union B equals 1 then we get P A intersection B as 0. So if A not and B not they are exhaustive it implies A and B are mutually exclusive. That means this statement 5 is correct. Now sixth one is A and B are independent if and only if not A and not B are independent. Now this is standard result but anyways we will prove it. So for this sixth let us assume A not and B not they are independent. That means P A not intersection B not will be probability of A not into probability of B not. Now this is probability of A union B not and this is equal to P A not into P B not. Now we can write this as 1 minus probability of A union B and it will be equal to 1 minus probability of A into 1 minus probability of B. Now P A union B is P A plus P B minus P A intersection B so it will be 1 minus P A minus P B plus P A intersection B and it will be equal to 1 minus P A minus P B and plus P A into P B. Now this 1 P A P B will cancel. So from here the only condition that we get is probability of A intersection B is probability of A into probability of B. So if A naught and B naught they are independent then it implies A intersection B is also independent. And we can prove vice versa also. So if we assume P A intersection B as P and P B that is A and B are independent then we can write probability of A naught intersection B naught as probability of A union B naught which is 1 minus probability of A union B that will be 1 minus probability of A minus probability of B and plus probability of A intersection B. Now probability of intersection B is P A into P B. So we can write this as 1 minus P A minus P B and plus P A into P B. Now if we take these together then we can factorize this as 1 minus P A into 1 minus P B. So it will be this P A naught into P B naught. That means A naught and B naught are independent. So that means this statement 6 is also correct. Now this sixth one is A and B cannot be simultaneously independent and exhaustive. Now suppose A and B are exhaustive that means probability of A union B is 1 and if probability of A union B is 1 we can write P A union B as probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Now if A and B are independent we can write this as 1 equals P A plus P B minus P A into P B and we can factorize this as 1 minus P A into 1 minus P B it is equal to 0. From here we get this condition that either P A is 1 or probability of B is 1 but in the question it says both probability of A and probability of B 
they strictly lie between 0 and 1 that means the statement 7 is also correct now statement 8 is a cannot be simultaneously mutually exclusive and exhaustive now this is not true basically when we talk about complementary events a and a naught we know that probability of a intersection a naught it is 0 and probability of a union a naught it is 1 so for event and its complement this condition is always true two events a and b they can be mutually exclusive as well as exhaustive say for example tossing a coin if a is getting a head and b is getting a tail then both these events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive that means this option 8 is incorrect